I'm not sure when you're watching this or if you are, but wherever you are, let me know in the chat below or in the comments where are you watching this from. I like to take into account different geographic locations. But let me know as you comment, as we're waiting for some people to join, we will add your comments to the screen. And uh, later on, I have a special guest that will be actually be painting with me. We'll introduce him in just a little bit. And turn that down, there we go. And um, again, I'm right now, I am in Sacramento, California, and my guest joining me today, in just a little bit, he is based in the UK. I'll let him share details in a bit, more about him and his story. But um, let's go hop on Instagram real quick, check some comments, they're popping up. All right, we're gonna wait for that stream to start. In the meantime, as you're joining us, let me know where you are watching this from. And by the way, uh, today during this live stream, the War and Boz print is available only during the live stream. It's kind of what makes it extra special. There we go. All right. Uh, Ziomara, hello to you. It's been a while. Hello to you. Thanks for joining. Uh, Amy Buchanan, sending love to you. And so Ziomara is in uh, Connecticut. Uh, I, I can't share it now, but the tour that I'm going on will be going to Connecticut. I'll, sh I'll, I'll say that right now. So Ziomara, just stay tuned for more info about the tour that I announced that I'll be going on very soon. Also, uh, Amy Buchanan is in Minnesota. So welcome to you. We're gonna be starting this live stream very soon. Let's see. All right, and IG is live. Let's go ahead and hop on there. Welcome to Marta underscore Mard. We've got uh, Van Gogh Coco. Welcome to you. All right, as you're joining, I just wanna know where you're watching from. Let's, um, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into this live stream. So I mentioned to you today, it's a very special live stream. There's a lot happening right now. Not only do I have a very special guest joining me that will be painting alongside me virtually from the UK, but right now and only during the live stream, we have the War and Boz prints available. We're gonna put it on the screen right now. There it goes. So this print, we have it available in three sizes. You'll see those sizes and prices at garibaldiarts.com forward slash shop. We'll just throw that under the picture. Um, but in the meantime, we'll talk more about this in the live stream, but I wanna introduce you to a special guest that's joining me today. Uh, Dave Sharp is joining us from the UK. We're gonna bring him on screen right now. There he is, looking fresh from the UK. What's up, man? How are you? I've got to remember, I'm looking down at the screen, but the camera's there, so I'm yeah. going to try and mix in, in between, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Very excited. This is it. This is this it. Is, uh, yeah. yeah. So those of you that don't know Dave Sharp, uh, look up at Dave Sharp Art, is that correct? Yeah, da I, it was Dave Sharp's art, but Dave Sharp Art is just easier, isn't it? So. It is at Dave Sharp Art. Dave is a fellow performance painter. Uh, we've met many years ago in the UK. We've stayed in touch. I've followed his journey, his career, and he's doing amazing things. We were on Instagram Live earlier today just having a chat. And I said, I don't know how if this will work or not, but let's paint together on the live stream. So you were up for it. Thank you for being crazy enough to be up for this. Just gotta be a yes man with these things, man. Especially <laughs> this kind of, just, don't want to miss this opportunity. Um, yeah, a bit of a quick turnaround, but I'm ready. Well, I have a, some of my biggest fans, like my mom watching, and uh, there's some others as well. But uh, let me do I some shout outs real quick. I sleep on the couch at this point. You, I know, it is late there. What time is it in the UK? Uh, 20 past 11. 20 past 11, it is late. I don't know if I would do this if it was 20 past 11. Man, seriously, yeah. thank you for doing this. Hey. So we're gonna start in a few minutes. Let's um, do some shout outs real quick to uh, Roger Daleen watching in Sweden. Let's throw that comment on the screen. 
We can do split screen still. Yeah, we'll have Dave say hello to Roger as well. Uh, hello, also, Roger from the UK. Uh, yeah, I've been to Stockholm a few times. Amazing. Everyone yes. looks really cool. Everyone dressed is amazing. And they're beautiful. So EJ Payne watching on YouTube uh, says, this dude is freaking phenomenal talent. Tex is in the house. Uh, EJ, I can't wait for you to see what Dave Sharp does as well. Um, Crispy, you want to come here? You want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? All right. Uh, also, Fred Nather, what's up? G, how are you? What's up, Fred? For joining. What was that? Oh, yeah, Fred, yeah. Showing some love. Also on Instagram, art.monsef, with the hard eyes. Appreciate that. Uh, Jay Farley Photography in North Carolina, welcome to you. Uh, Jason DeMoss, saying, hey, you mate. All right. You know, we've got a lot of painting to, to do. Instagrams, isn't it? it is. So we've got a lot of painting to do. Hydrate, get some water. Those of you watching this right now, get comfortable. Because right now we have that War in Boz print available, we're going to paint something in theme with that. I'm going to paint a Warhol. Dave's going to paint Basquiat. And the print will be available during the live stream. And then that's it. So are you ready to paint, Dave? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, welcome back to the live stream. We're gonna start this very soon. Let's go ahead and bring Dave Sharp on. Hello to you. You've got your canvas set up. Looking very sharp. I'm sure you've never heard that before. So what are you gonna be painting with me today, Dave? So I'm gonna be doing Jean-Michel Basquiat, which um, it's taken me a while just to pronounce the name right, but I'm getting that now, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Uh, yes. I think that was kind of my choice, so hopefully I don't regret it. <laughs> you're you're going to do it. incredible. I'm going to uh, counteract that, balance things out with a Warhol. I know we're giving it away, but people that are joining us later will be guessing what it is. So we're letting people in on the on the uh, on the on the what we're doing. But as always, let's let's start painting. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. World first. I should have had my brushes ready to go. I'm <laughs> the, the least prepared over here. Here we go. I'm going to start with this color. Let's paint. So Dave, I don't know about you, but I like to start with some undertones. You know, colors yeah, that I think we'll show later on. What, do you, what are your thoughts on undertones? Um, yeah, I... Uh... I've tried it in all different combinations, but it kind of helps you get the rough scale a lot better than jumping in with the highlights straight away. Yeah, I mean, there's multiple reasons, but I think what you said, you can kind of use it to block in what you're about to do. It's just deciding on the right undertone, that's been a bit of a a long process. Sometimes it's far too dark and the other parts, the mid-turns are way too, too bright and it's, uh, it's too much of a contrast. So it's trying to get a nice balance between the darks, the mids and the highlights. So we're, we're taking our time today. Uh, I mentioned earlier, but Dave is also a performance painter based in the UK. Uh, we've met on several occasions out there in the UK. Yeah, I was and, a little uh, nervous the first time, I'll be honest. But this is our first time painting together. 
we're making it happen virtually. All right, so there's me watching this right now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat and Ray will mention the questions to me. We'll do our best to answer them, whether it's for myself or Dave, either one of us can answer them. Uh, either way, thank you for joining us. Now I'm just adding these undertones. Again, uh, these kind of help block in the light and shadows, you know, helping to find some of the value. But also they're gonna show through later on as I start adding color on top of this, you'll also see hints of these left behind. They're like, these are like future little uh, secrets that will be revealed as the painting goes on. Ray, feel free to let me know if there's any questions. All right, guys, don't be shy. All of a sudden, you guys are shy? Come on. It's all right. Dave's probably like, please don't distract me. You got into the pretty funky green already. I feel like I uh, chose the wrong palette. No, just keep going, man. Just keep going. This is all just fun. So someone asked, do I prefer white or black pants? Oh, canvas. <laughs> They're like, we don't care about your pants, David. <laughs> uh, I prefer a black canvas. It's, I, I like the fact that I'm leaving my shadows behind and I'm basically creating the light or adding the light to it. And, and Dave, do you prefer a white or black canvas? Uh, no, I've, I've tried it. Um, I tried painting with coffee once, so I used a sort of light green oh my God. background. Um, and that works. Um, anything where you're using a darker color in general to paint, you want a light background. But the black canvas serves many purposes, and this is one of them that it starts off the darkest bit. So. Um, yeah, it really pops with the bright colors on top. Yeah, the white canvas, though, is just for different techniques. They're just not techniques that I paint with. So I prefer the black canvas over anything. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually adding uh, the colors. You'll see what color scheme I'm using for this. But whatever I put on here, I'm still going to see those colors that I started with left behind. Try not to make them too muddy. They are wet, so they're naturally going to mix. And guys, please show some love to Dave Sharp, who is painting alongside me today. All right, so they asked Dave, how long have you been painting? We're talking about Dave Sharp. What was the question? How long have you been painting? Uh, oh, uh, I've been doing this about I'd say seven, eight years now. Seven, um, eight years. But earliest memories in life were painting for sure. Uh, I don't know if that was the same for you, David. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I can, I, I didn't officially start painting until I was 20, but I've been an artist. Okay, that's a bit later. 
Yeah, I've just been an artist my whole life. Yes, yeah, speed playing, I've been doing it about eight years, and um, yeah, kind of used to watch uh, David's videos um, in my parents' garage, trying to make some sense of what he was doing. So, pretty surreal, suddenly painting at the same time. Now we're painting at the same time. So, I mentioned to you earlier on our Instagram Live. You know, there's artists that I get to talk to and I've been able to uh, befriend more so over the, even the past year. And one of those is uh, Justin Bua. So he's been a huge inspiration to me. We've been able to connect a lot more and, uh, and, and you know, paint like this in person. So I'm right there with you, man. Yeah, it's nice to get um, to a point where you start to, you, you, the penny drops a lot more and you start to get a flow with uh, how you put together a painting. Um, very easy to remember when every painting I did was a complete random disaster and I never knew what they were going to turn out like. And one eye would be up here and one would be down here. And, you yeah. know, we all got to start Hilarious somewhere. Process. So as you can see, I'm going to, you keep painting, I'm going to go up to the camera. Uh, we are creating Warhol and Basquiat, our own takes on this. Let us know in the chat, where are you watching this from? Let me take a look. Also, those of you that don't know this, uh, the War and Boz print is available right now at garibaldiarts.com forward slash shop and only available during the live stream. All right, I'm gonna switch up my brushes, go to some bigger, wider brushes. We're gonna start adding some of the hair on here. I'm using this wall as a palette. Dave, do you use your wall as a palette? Yeah, I really do. I didn't realize how important it is until I tried changing it to someone else. And yeah, using the water as a palette is, is, is the best move, really. It, um, yeah, it makes you work really fast, very keep staying in the flow when you're just rubbing the paint into the wall as opposed to using a palette. Yeah, it's, the, it's closer than a palette. You know, it's right there next yeah. to you. I think it actually becomes its own art piece over time. Just yeah, it, it does look quite nice once it gets layers on it. Yeah. So I'm actually trying to work around some layers right now so that I let the first layer dry as I start adding some more on top of that. By the way, my son watches uh, like YouTube all the time. So he's just like freaking out right now that we're doing this live stream. There we go, get that white. Iconic Andy Warhol hair. One of the funniest differences over the pond for me painting in Canada and America is the paint. The paint is different in the UK. We use emulsion, which uh -huh. is uh, a lot thicker. So yes. I get used to when I flip the paint, 
I put my hands in the water and then paint, but David's used bare paint, right? So I actually prefer European paint in general over American paint because it's thicker and I get to control uh, the, the fluidity of it based on how much water I add to it. But here I don't really have a choice. I, I, I still have to add water, but I wish it was a little thicker so I can control it just a little bit more. I do like the, um, the, the flipping of uh, the, the bare paint. It's very easy to make the bottoms. Oh yeah, this paint for sure is a lot easier to flick. So do you add water before you throw it? Pardon? Do you add water before you throw it at the canvas, before you flick it? Yeah, I, uh, I have something that I've developed over time is to have that water that just... Uh, and the right order as well, you don't do the paint and then the water. No, sorry, yeah. You do the paint first, then the water, not the water first, and then the paint. Funny little things like that. So now that some of my paint is drying, I can start adding these cut this white on top of it because I am doing this in sort of a gray scale with the color undertones. And then when I start seeing that color, I just pick up my brush and we'll come back to that same area so that that white goes on nice and thick. Sometimes it's good just to uh, smooth in some of the lines with your fingers uh -huh. without completely... Uh, I was never a fan of uh, smudging uh, sketches in school. Never really liked that technique. two artists vibing out in their own studios, painting a Warhol and Basquiat scene paintings. All right, so someone asked, is this a competition? Absolutely not. This is just, we're just vibing out. I don't know what it is, it feels uh, slightly therapeutic though. We're just, you know, we just have never done this before. I thought it was a cool idea. Are you a competitive guy? Am I competitive? Bro, of course I am. If you were like, uh, let's see if you can chug a glass of water in the quickest, I'm like, doing warm ups. Yeah, you could definitely see I'm very competitive. I'm gonna grab some uh, spray paint for this part. Do you ever use spray paint? No, I am. Um quite like the fact that that's your thing, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, I, I like to use uh, fluorescence. I think that's... Yeah. 
a little bit more uh, where am I going to, just to make it pop. You know, in the past, when I first started doing this style of painting, I did imagine one day that, you know, groups of people would do these types of paintings live. Like, at once, whether it was a competition or, or something else, I don't know. But I still think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. I'm just happy to show that there are other people in the world who do performance painting. That is yeah. what I'm excited about about this. Yeah, it's um, still quite a niche little group, isn't it? Yeah, very, very small group. But I, I feel like most of us know each other. Have you met Evan Struck yet? Um, I haven't met him, no. Like a young, young guy. Yeah, very young. Yeah, he's from the US. Evan's a, a very talented young painter. What up, Evan? So someone asked, will these be for auction or for sale? Uh, you know what, Dave, where can they buy your art? <laughs> well, my uh, website is ancient. I haven't been on it in ages, so. I kind of work, if people get in touch, they want commissions. So I generally do it by that. Um, I have about 60 paintings like this rolled up that I've started to catalog and finally get out, so. Um, yeah, the best place to contact is, is my Instagram. Yeah, so go ahead and DM Dave about his art, and as always, you guys can always visit garyballyarts.com forward slash gallery, or you can just send me a DM, and we can start from there. Uh, thank you again to everyone who's watching this right now, or just, having some fun painting uh, a Warhol and a Basquiat. We had this crazy idea on Instagram Live earlier today. And I don't know if Dave is regretting it or enjoying it, but uh, he still showed up. So that's all that matters. I'm good, man. I'm good. Good, good. Are you regretting it? Oh, not at all, man. This is, I, I live for like, let's see what happens. <laughs> it looks amazing, by the way. You're doing an incredible job, brother. Thanks, you too. I like the, uh, the composition. Oh, also, I don't want to have this on stage, but uh, I take out the toxins and these and squirt it on from them. This is a new technique. So 
So I'm adding some of these uh, Warhol-esque squares around his head. I'm gonna add something uh, inside of them at some point. For now, I'm gonna add the squares first. Pulling from the inspiration and aesthetics of Andy Warhol. His obsession with uh, creating mass-produced objects and turning them into art. Repetition. All right, so someone keeps asking, are these specific paintings gonna be for sale? Anything you see an artist create is mostly for sale. So you can DM us, uh, DM yeah. Dave or DM myself, and we will give you info for series collectors. By the way, this pink that I'm painting with right now, it's probably my favorite color to either paint with or just in general, one of my favorite colors. It's this ultraviolet uh, magenta pink. It's, it just pops, there's nothing like it. I love a good teal, to be honest. We're both gonna pass out from uh, paint fumes probably, but. You know, whatever it takes to entertain these people. Also, big shout out to Ray, who is behind the scenes right now, not only running my cameras, but also uh, doing the camera switching for this live stream. So shout out to Ray. I'm just, every day I throw him into something, I'm like, so we're gonna do something that we've never prepared for, and I want it to be perfect in the moment. And here we are, it's working out. All right, I'm hopping over here, let's find another color to, Put on this canvas. Got some sort of skin tone. Dave, have you ever uh, tried doing graffiti at all? Uh, I did it once in high school. I did a the tour just be idea under a bridge and then, you know, had a headache for the rest of the day because I didn't wear a mask. Yeah. And it kind of put me off. I've always wanted to give it another go, but um, I've, I've, I've had the odd spray paint in the studio and it's a big space and it's so intense. Huh? Yeah. So the last time I did graffiti was actually in London. Yeah. Oh, in under the, the, uh, under that tunnel. Leak Street tunnel? Yeah, was, that, was I there with you then? Um, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. I'm glad we've made some long-lasting memories. Man, I, I, can't, I think I've lost count of the amount of times that we met, but that's a good sign. The last time I met Dave Garibaldi, he was supporting KISS. That was, that was a fun day. I have okay, a so phone someone... uh, next door to my studio so you can hear everyone heckling at the moment. Uh, so someone asked, am I doing any art for Gene Simmons' birthday, which is coming up? Um, I don't know, but that's a good idea. Maybe. We'll have to see. All right, what color have I not used yet? Let's go with this purple. Yeah, did you say purple? 
purple, yeah. Uh, it's like a... I, uh, I really like lilac and I really try and use it as much as I can. It's not always an easy color to use, but he loves a bit of lilac. Yeah, this color is more like a lilac. I've got a couple more squares left. Let's see, what color should I choose? Ah, I know. Let's go with this random green that I had in my little bucket. There we go. So Dave, while you're painting, can you share with us maybe like a a couple really cool memorable events that you've done live, just so people know how how much you've done on your own. You know, you travel the world, uh, but yeah. what are some memorable events that you've done? Um, so after sort of trying to trying to work out how to speed paint for a while and just kind of making it, watching YouTube videos of basically David and then. Um, then I went on Britain's Got Talent and um, I was still only about seven months into doing this. So painting was not the strongest, but still managed to get through. And um, when it came to Simon Cowell and the judges, I celebrated, I ripped my whole shirt off. And that's the bit that they showed on the TV. They didn't show anything else, just me ripping my shirt off. Um, but then I, I went to Canada and I toured around the fairs in Canada for a few years. And it kind of got me to that point where I went, like, learned how to be a professional on and off stage as opposed to just turning up the paint. Um, spilled a lot of paint in a lot of hotels and bands and stuff. Um, I, I, I think one of my proudest moments was painting um, Robert De Niro in a little restaurant. And uh, I tried something out where I did two paintings at once, so I start with one and then turn it into something else. And um, I started with a taxi from Taxi Driver, and he, um, yeah, he, he got a bit bored of that. He thought, yeah, Taxi Driver, I get it, mate. And then when I started to change into his face, he started to poke up, and then by the end he was filming it on his phone. So. Um, Robert De Niro has a video of me on his camera roll, which is pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. That's iconic. Yeah, I feel like I need to add one, maybe some green, which uh, green is not a friend of most artists. But... It's looking awesome. So uh, as you guys can see, we're doing a Warhol and Basquiat theme right now. Let's go ahead and throw on the screen real quick. The print that I dropped right now, it's only available right now during the live stream. It's called War and Boz. It sparked the conversation between uh, me and Dave to do this today. But this print is available right now at GaribaldiArts.com forward slash shop. Uh, and when this live stream is over, it'll be done. So we're going to throw that link on the screen right now. There it is. Also, let me uh, check in with some of the questions. I see uh, some folks on Instagram. So uh, I think Sunshine33 said green is popping. Yeah, that green is popping. What else? Who else is on here? Let me just read some of the comments. Uh, so uh, Chadi, my girlfriend asked if I was single. Trick question, no, green. even from you. So we can't play the game here. I know I passed that test. All right, who else? <laughs> um, also, Sun Shins 33 said, love seeing you at the KISS concert. Thank you for that. So someone asked, how many prints do I make of each one? Uh, well, these, we, we don't plan on making prints, but the one that is up right now, uh, they're called timed open editions. So we only make as many that are sold during the drop. Sometimes it could be a handful, sometimes it could be 
hundreds, but it allows us to uh, make them more affordable for everyone. All right, I'm trying to find a color over here. Let's see if this black will hold up. I'm gonna get a couple of these as backups. Uh, I forgot to put the uh, Samo, the King um, logo in. Oh, there you go. All right, so I just wanted that to pop off just a little bit. I'm gonna add one more fun thing in those little squares. There we go. Can you imagine painting at this speed on stage? Uh, I wish I could, to be honest. <laughs> it's so much more peaceful and uh, I'm sweating, but it's still less sweaty. Have you ever been put, I, I've sometimes been put where I'm not on the stage, I'm like in a sort of hallway or the, like the, the place before the main event. And when you do speed paintings and you just stop and there's not even any music playing and everyone sort of looks at you thinking, why don't you just keep going? Yeah, I, I will, you know, we've been in some pretty weird places. places. Yep, yep. Dave, how's it going over there? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm good. You're doing all right? Looks good, I'm man. I'm gonna add a little bit more of a drop shadow behind the war hall, just to help them pop off just a little bit more off that canvas. To keep it mostly to one side so it has some sort of directional uh, I don't know, just dimension to it. All right. I, I, have you thrown paint yet? Because we should just throw it together. Oh, sorry? Have you thrown paint yet at your at your canvas? Yeah, but I can, um, you know, I, I can do some more just for the ground. Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm ready to throw some paint. Look at my sort of sad. 
<laughs> you know, a box with water in it. All right, I'm gonna start actually with some flesh tones, and then I'm gonna move to some black and some whites. I think I'm gonna take some risks and throw some black. Blue on there. So it can be very satisfying when you get the big block of paint on the end of your paintbrush and you sort of launch it at the canvas a bit like you're uh, slashing something. It's great until it lands in the wrong place. That's the only problem. When it goes Actually, it's all fun and games until you dip your hands in paint water that's been sitting for a week and it smells like rotten eggs. That is the worst. Right, so that's not just my paint, right? That's, that's what, what it that? smells what like in that? here right now. Yeah, I, would, I, I think rotten eggs are still being quite kind, to be honest. Don't, don't say where I would go with All right, I'm gonna go with throwing some black next and then I should be near the end. How are you? Are you good on time? Yeah. Are you wrapping up soon? Because I want to get a video of us hand printing it at the same time. Yeah, man, I think I'm. I think I'm going to end up overpainting mine, so I'm trying to. Trying to chill. a little workout in all right sir well i am ready whenever you are in the meantime i just want to say thank you uh not only to dave for uh painting with me doing this incredible basquiat painting but also all of you for watching this just being up to watch something different today uh i'm pretty sure you're sick and tired of just seeing me paint so we're trying something different today dave would you be up to do this again oh hell yeah yeah definitely all right. I've just, just messed the, the classic that right at the end. Hang on. All right, so let's do something together. Let's get our hands uh, full of some paint. And we're going to hand print it. I'm going to uh, get some paint. Let me go, go there. All right. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, what should I have to go through? Yeah, red. No, yellow. All right, whenever you've got your paint on, we'll count this down. In three, right, two, one. <laughs> there we go. Yes, make some noise for Dave Sharp. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I love it, man. Hey, hang tight. Take one last look, everyone, at these paintings. We're gonna chat for just a little bit more. Don't go anywhere. The live stream's not over. I'm gonna zoom in on this painting. Just take one last look, hang tight. Side by side, the Andy Warhol and Basquiat inspired by the war and Boz drop happening today. Yeah happening actually right now. Yeah. Okay, let me, yeah. Um, just wanna get uh, so much paint on my hands. <laughs> All right, Dave, hang tight there. 
We're gonna uh, go full screen, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. Take one last look at the Andy Warhol. I'm gonna go get my phone while you guys do that. Uh, I painted side by side with artist Dave Sharp, who will be right back. There he is. Let's show, let's show his painting as well. Split screen. Actually, there, there's just full screen on, on Dave Sharp. I like that. We did the Warhol and Basquiat theme. Man, thank you so much to everyone for watching this. Okay, oh, uh, Dave, you still there with us? I'm still ahead. There he is. Man, that was fun. Worked up a little sweat. Yeah. How long that um, maybe took us about 40 minutes to paint? About 30, 40 minutes. So as you can tell, obviously, Dave is no stranger to painting fast. He's a, a fellow performance painter. And uh, we had a chat earlier today on Instagram Live and I just threw out the crazy idea. Let's paint together. So here we are. And uh, man, I appreciate that. Yeah, that was great. How did that feel for you? I, lo I love it, man. I, I love just having the extra energy and also um, I'm sure everyone's sick and tired of watching me on, on these live streams, so it changes it up. But if you guys haven't already done this, go follow at Dave Sharp Art on all platforms. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to put <laughs> it on the screen. Sharpie for, I tried Sharpie for a while because everyone in the US is always calling me that, but so is this your um, Instagram on the screen? Can you see it? Nice. At Dave that's Sharp that's Art. Nice. Go give him a follow. Uh, so again, we've known each other for probably, it's got to be, I mean, at least seven years now? Probably six, six years. Six, six years. Yeah, yeah something like that. Years. I'm wiping the paint off my face. Yeah, it's kind of, it's pretty quite surreal. I think um, what you end up doing is I was always tagging you in every video that I did from pretty much when I started. It was just like, which is what's funny now because I get tagged in a lot of videos in the same way. Yeah. You know, people who are starting out. And um, yeah, it's very easy to remember the day when you do finally get that like of someone if you're trying to get their attention. It's like, uh, I've done a marathon in Canada and I've tried it so many times and find it's like, yes, I must be getting somewhere now. Um, you know, this yeah. is what's, what I think we haven't done enough of is to really artists like ourselves showing our world that there are other painters out there like this, uh, that there are other performance yeah. painters. You know, I was inspired by Denny Dent. Uh, the style that he did live, it was like a rock and roll show. You know, I've wanted to, to take that inspiration and, and turn it up a notch and Dave is doing it in his own way and I just love that people get to see you know that there are other styles of this I talked about Evan Strzok who I'm sure I'll do this with at some point but uh you know we started something new today Dave yeah well you guys seem particularly tech savvy so you know if it's gonna work let's do it through you and we can iron out all the creases for all of us yeah. Well, I'm going to give you a, a, a gear list so you can get the, even the minimal things to make this happen. You'd be surprised. It's pretty much duct tape and bubble gum keeping all this together. And Ray, that's pretty much how we're making this happen. Yeah, there's a, there's a guy behind the scenes, like um, Joe Rogan's guy. Um, yes, Jamie. he's my Jamie. He's Jamie hey, yeah, so nice. we're going to wrap this up, but I just want to, I'm going to let you get sleep. I know it's late there. You're in the UK. Those of you that don't know this, if you couldn't tell by his voice, yeah, he's not in Texas. Well. It is midnight in the UK. So we're going to let you get some rest. And again, go follow at Dave Sharp Art. I'm going to tag him on my uh, Instagram story. I'm going to post a, a little version of this as well uh, as an Instagram yes. TV. So thank you, man. Uh, hang tight in the green room, in the virtual green hang room. On. I'm just going to, if you say hello on my Instagram story. Oh, yes, let's do it. Okay, okay ready? Go. All right, everyone, this is David Garibaldi. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm a big Dave Sharp art fan, so much so I wanted to paint with him today. So uh, make sure, you already follow him, but 
Uh, love you, Dave. Thanks for joining, man. Love you too, man. Woo! Yeah. I'm gonna have All right, to brother. All right, uh, we'll talk soon, brother. Yeah, appreciate it, man. And uh, thanks to everyone for watching that, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, Dave, it's been a pleasure. So glad we did this. Yeah, look at the camera. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll do it again soon. And, uh, yes, yeah. beautiful boss See you there. Thank you. Peace. All right. So, uh, we're, before we, we uh, hop off again, I want to thank Dave Sharp. I want to thank all of you for watching. And also, we're going to put on the screen the War in Boz print is available right now at garibaldiarts.com forward slash shop. I'm going to leave it up for another maybe 10, 15 minutes after I get off this live stream. So, if you haven't already done it, it comes in three sizes, which means three price points. The reason why I do these timed open editions are so that we can make something rare at a lower price for all of you. Um, and I appreciate everyone. I, I can see all the orders that come in and thank you to everyone who's been placing orders throughout the whole live stream. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, for now, I had some fun today painting the war hall. Take one last look at it before we sign off. And again, on the screen you'll see as well that exclusive print, the War and Boz timed open edition. I'll leave it up and available for about 10, 15 more minutes. There's a link in my bio on, if you're watching on Instagram or any other social platform. And those of you always interested in these original paintings, you can always DM me or visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash gallery. All right, peace.